as I wrap up the lesson on bonds and segue into stocks, I think it would be smart to briefly explain a major category of investing that is a hybrid of a stock and a bond. And that investable asset would be a convertible. Not the car type, but the half bond, half stock. Convertible bonds have been around since 1928, but the popularity with the investing public was like asking about Bigfoot. <laughs> People heard of the rumor, but nobody actually knew any details. And that was up until about 1977, when money manager John Calamos developed a mutual fund and private portfolio strategy focused on convertibles, thereby giving investors access to this misunderstood investment and underappreciated part of the financial market. A convertible is part stock and part bond. There is a coupon payment, a date, and many other features of a bond. But uh, the key difference is a convertible can convert into common shares of the company at a future date and price, and normally issued by companies with uh, growth potential, but lower uh, credit quality. This gives the issuer the ability to raise their needed funds for growth and not have high debt payments or lower uh, uh, or leverage on their balance sheet. Now, the convertible buyer typically receives less uh, than income than they would if it was 100% corporate bond, if it was a pure bond. But the investor of a convertible could also make more in total appreciation for a company that does grow. The buyer gets some yield or interest to protect their downside, but an opportunity for a much higher return if the company is successful. Now, I like convertibles as an asset class, and they could be purchased individually uh, via ETF or mutual fund.